Hello and welcome to Lorefin Gaming Plays Assassin's Creed Odyssey. I'm your host Lorefin and today's trophy slash achievement guy we're doing the one. The one trophy or the one achievement is when you kill all the fallen. As always like, comment, and subscribe to my channel. Now here's one prerequisite you need. You need five pieces of the fallen armor so you can enter the veils. That's very important. That's right. If you do not get the five pieces like I'm showing right here, you'll be locked out on some of the... Uh, foes you're gonna fight. Now the first one we're gonna do is the Poisoner of Athens. Now this is the location right here in the middle of the swamp right here in the morning fields mostly in the northwestern area. So once you defeat the Poisoner of Athens what happens is the Enforcer right there will be defeated. You might get some clues you might not. Also you will get a piece of fallen armor so what we're gonna do right now is skip ahead towards the second Enforcer now we are going to do a uh, Tescales, the Olympian. Now here's the thing: you need to do Charon's uh, quest line. The one we are going to be doing is called a Cursed Sickness. At one point, you will meet him. He is very easy. Lie or not, well, I'll keep that as a surprise. Let's just say he is real easy to kill. The easiest of the Fallen bunch. I am real serious. Real easy. So now we're going to skip towards the next one. Now the last and final Fallen Enforcers is the Cyclops. It's uh, during the little uh, child's quest line. I'll keep that name a secret for now. So defeat the Cyclops in the Warrior, the Eagle Bearer. Once you defeat the Cyclops, that is it for the uh, Fallen Enforcers. So now we're going to move to the next category. Now we're at the Fallen Cultist, which we are facing the Swordfish of Octopus Bay. Now here's the thing, he is at the... Uh, Burnt Terrapo Amoria, yes that is right, he is right there. He is also part of the uh, Beyond the Veil quest, so you should already have him done already. He's real easy to kill, just dodge, watch out for his fire attacks, and that's about it. So we just finished him off here, so now just confirm the kill and we're going to get to the second cultist. The second fallen cultist is Epitaios the forthcoming. I'm sorry if I butchered the name. Still, it's at the Orphanus' lair. Now, there's a pit. You need to jump down. And then, after a while, you will find him in the uh, artifact room. This is like a replica from the main game. So, defeat him in this room right here. And that's about it. Now, he does have a piece of the armor of the Fallen. So, confirm the kill. You will get him as the kill. And also, you get the piece of the Fallen armor. So, we're going to skip ahead towards the third one. Next one is uh, Delarania, the Bohemian Champion. That's the third uh, Fallen uh, Cultist. And also it has the fourth piece of the Armor of the Fallen. It's at the Altar of the uh, Titans. Now she will have a partner. Just defeat both of them. Once you do defeat both of them, then it's safely to loot up the uh, Champion's Armor. Yeah, so... Just gotta do that between the other two. This one and the last one I show you is tied so far the easiest ones to do. So uh, hack away at this one, her partner, since we already defeat her, then we can safely uh, loot the body. So go ahead, loot the body of the fallen armor piece, and this will be number three of the uh, cultist one. Now this next one you need to do a quest chain uh, that is done by LP Nor. We're gonna skip ahead towards that target and then we're going to get to the actual uh, location. Now the monger is your last fallen cultist. As I said before, it's behind El Punor's quest chain. The last one is the snake sheds his skin. Now you just need to defeat the monger. My advice is, is uh, run from everything, go straight towards the monger. You'll have enemies there, but however, you could defeat him and then eventually the monger will fall with ease. That's it right there, the fallen cultist uh, is officially done. Now we're going to get to the Fallen Guardians. Now we're at the Fallen Guardians. The first one is uh, Perseus. This is part of a main uh, quest chain in the story. The Underworld's Fallen Guardians. This is where he is at exactly on the map right there. Now this is where you need to look at. He's inside some kind of mini fortress. There's only one way to do it. Right there is the entrance. Perseus will uh, disappear. He'll dash around. He'll teleport in the air. All you need to do is just jack him up and that's it. Once you defeat him, 
he'll actually serve you just like in the main quest. So what we're just going to do right now is uh, skip ahead towards the next one. The next one is Achilles, the Trojan war hero in the Fallen Guardian. Now he's at the Keeper's Insight that I didn't reveal in my video until now. So you go in here right here in the Halls of Manlali. I. Yes, you need the Armor of the Fallen in order to have access to it. So we'll skip ahead towards the tail in the combat. So you need to defeat Achilles and make him submit. Once you make him submit, then he'll be recruited. The Fallen Guardians are different than the other two categories because it's not about kills, it's about beating him into a submission. So beat him into a submission and that'll be it right there. So now we're going to do a skip ahead towards the other one. The next one is the King right here, the third one on the list right here of the Fallen Guardians. It's at the pit of uh, deprivation. So you need to go there. Now just jump down the hall. There is a veil. You need an armor of the fallen in order to access this battle. So we'll skip ahead towards that right about now. So here's the thing. He does a lot of fire. He can take some fire damage. He is not bad overall. Out of the four guardians, he is tied with the final one I'll show you as the hardest one. So just defeat him in submission just like Perseus and Achilles. So we'll defeat him then skip towards the uh, next one. The next and final Fallen Guardian to beat into submission is Hercules. Now he's at Tartaros behind a veil. You need the Armor of the Fallen in order to access his room just like the other three. So just we're going to skip towards that bow right now. All you need to do is the same as the other ones to beat Hercules into submission. Upon defeating Hercules, and if you defeat the other uh, Fallen, you will earn the trophy the one or the achievement the one. Well, that is it for my The One Trophy or Achievement Guide. This is Lord Fent signing off. Please like, comment, and subscribe to my channel. Thank you for watching.